The first deck that we're going to be doing today... What's up, Tatas? The first deck that we're going to be doing today is a revisit of Rotom. Now, Rotom V and Rotom V Star. So for those of you that haven't seen this card, I have to sneeze again, and I'm going to fight it again. Um, for those of y'all that haven't seen this card before, uh, Rotom V-Star says, Put any number of Pokemon tool cards from your discard pile into the Lost Zone. This attack does 40 more damage for each card you put in the Lost Zone this way. So, minimum of 80, maximum of however many you have in your discard pile, times 40. Uh, this also has a V-Star power to let you cycle some cards out of hand um, to kind of enable this to get some tools. So, that was the biggest issue. Last time we played this deck, we ran into... It was not always consistent trying to get the tools into the discard pile. You could use Ultra Balls, you could use, uh, we used Curlias, we used the, um, uh, Alolan Articuno, I think it is, the, the one that says discard two cards to draw a card. Um, we tried a couple of different ways to do it, and it felt good. This deck was a lot more powerful than it had any right to be, but it wasn't quite where we wanted it to be. This most recent sack that came out has TMs in it. So we are playing with the whole smorgasbord of TMs here. Because TMs put themselves into the bin. You attach them to a Pokemon, at the end of your turn they go off your Pokemon. So we're obviously not going to be using all of these, but every turn we can put one or two on a Pokemon, have it fall off. And we do have some other useful tools in case we need them. Um, but mostly we're trying to really utilize the TM. The other fun piece of technology that this deck got is this new Wug Trio card. This card's pretty bad, but... When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three Pokemon tool cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, this card actually gets, it's one of the few things that actually gets to come out to parity with an Ultra Ball. Because if you have a, if you have a Wiglet out and an Ultra Ball in hand, you use the Ultra Ball plus two cards, because you have to ditch them to the Ultra Ball, to get a Wug Trio. And if you happen to ditch two tool cards, oh no, Rotom can use those. Anyway, so then you have your Wug Trio. You put your Wug Trio down and you get three cards. So you actually do get all three of the cards that you invested to get the Wug Trio plus the Wug Trio. So the, the card itself isn't that great. Obviously, I think we're going to get a little hosed by this two resistance cost, at least at some point, I would imagine. But getting to search up three tools is pretty solid. So we're going to see if that makes it any better, uh, how this deck feels, and let's get to it. We also did cut the uh, Articunos because, yeah, they just were not that necessary, and that card was really bad and was worth two prize cards worth. Wug Trio is only worth one. So let's get to it. Music, Wiggles, music. 30 months. Dang. Thanks, babe. Thank I appreciate you. Thank you for all your support. Appreciate you. Wouldn't be here without you, my love. Uh, let's see here. Y'all can, there's sound, right? Let's see. Yeah, let's put on, put on Dell here for this one. Pumpkin boost sleeve, you got it. Oh, and also, um, Metonger Z, thank you for the follow. We were not online when you followed, but I appreciate you. I doubt you're here right now, but I never know. And if you are, appreciate you. If, if you're not, I still appreciate you. Okay. Rotom out front. No item card, or no energies is a little rough. I did go down one energy, so hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt. It might. Ooh, opponent's brewing something too. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, wait, let's stop. Wait, they're doing this. They can't even play a support of this turn. They're they're hoping we don't have a judge. Nothing wrong with that, but noted. Okay, they need another Eevee for that to matter. Or I guess they could evolve this one and have another Eevee and have that work that way, I guess. Question mark. Okay, well, that's not going to work. It's first turn, fam. Cannot attack yet. Okay, really want to draw an energy here. Well, rip. That's all right. Uh, so let's Arvin. Is there any way to get an energy? I mean, technically. Technically. Be bold to do that for an energy. We're going to grab a tool. It's just a matter of do we want to grab one that's going in the bin. I'd have to put this forest seal stone on my Rotom, and I don't really want to do that. So I think we're going to just kind of hope we get an energy a different way. 
Let's get... <laughs> That's going to be fun. Uh, okay, we're going to put... See, we don't need evolution, so we're going to go ahead and put that there so that it falls off. Let's nest ball for a wiglet just to have it. We're not just going to pass our turn, though. Again, with Rotom, you never have to pass your turn. That's like the best part of this card. You get to draw three cards instead. And that's a lot of cards. Still no energy, though. Brutal. Brutal. Okay. So they're going to be evolved. <laughs> That's a lot of Eevees. Okay, and then they evolve one. Okay. Which means they're going to evolve all of them? That's neat. I don't know if it's good enough, but it's neat. Okay. This one gets to heal, and it goes after Vs and does more. This one gets to heal, or does to do damage to anything. It goes after Vs and does more. This one gets to find energy. Or do a little bit of damage. They're going to try and give us a weakness here. And our weakness is water. That's still not what we wanted. Um, hopefully we hit it with this. Play another Rotom out here. We'll go ahead and put the EXP share on this Rotom. Um, and let's energize here and see what we get. Um, let's, turbo energize doesn't help if we don't have any energy, so yay, we hit an energy. All right, we'll take it. Okay. The Resonant Evolution makes them search their deck, right? I mean, that's funny. It doesn't <laughs> de-evolving it. They're just gonna put them all back down. But I mean, we're gonna do it because it's funny. Let's wait because if they manage to knock this out, we can just use this other Rotom here. Because the XP share will make it to where we didn't lose the energy. <laughs> It doesn't do anything, but that was fun. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You have been de-evolved. Pray that we don't do it again. This would let them pull other Eevees out of their deck if they wanted. Or other um, evolutions, but... Meh. Whatever. I hope they had an evolved Pokemon quest and we're just like helping them out, you know? Okay, okay. Okay. Sure. Makes sense. Okay, now our weakness is electric. That's fair and kind of anticipated. Yay! All right. Okay, so we're going to evolve this one now. We have this other Curly in hand. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're just gonna do the attack this time. I think. I think that's right. I don't think we want to use our V-Star move yet. Um, we just need to ditch one of these, so we'll just ditch one, do enough damage, knock this out. Boom. 
All right. Do we still have our... We, we lose our weakness when we do that uh, because we evolved it. So that was one of the other reasons that it was good to save that. Hey, that's a really good draw. Now we don't have to use our Ultra Ball to do this, which means if we want to use this V-Star move, we can. Um, opponent's about to learn an unfortunate truth that, yes, this is going to do 180 damage if they have... I guess if they have a double colorless, it's going to do 160 damage. But we are not weak to electric anymore. Bruno. Bruno's interesting technology in their deck. Their deck's designed to give up some prize cards, so it kind of makes sense. I wouldn't be surprised to see them playing with counter catchers as well. Okay. But where's your Flareon? You know, where's the Flareon, opponent? You gotta have that Flareon. Okay. Trying to save. Okay, that's neat. They get to, to attach their energies that way. We would love a boss's orders here. Um, a way to kind of punish what they're doing. Hopefully they don't put everything on Greninja because that would be kind of terrifying for us. Okay, they didn't put any on Greninja, so never mind. We're not scared. We're not scared at all here. Okay, so let's do this first and go ahead and use Suddenly Select. This will thin out our deck a little bit here. Let's see, are there any boss's orders in my deck? Well, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, there is boss's orders in the deck. Uh, so I believe what we're going to do in that case is we're not going to be using uh, the Rotom's V Star Power. We're going to use Forest Seal Stone. Because we have other Rotoms to put that on now. We don't need Evolution anymore. De-Evolution doesn't really do anything to them, so we can ditch one of those as well. I am aware, game. Thank you. Okay, so let's do this. Grab a boss's orders. Curlia out here. I should have done Curlia first because there's a good chance we're actually going to draw the boss's orders. But, you know, what can you do? Okay, another energy is great. Put the there and then have this one even closer. Okay, and now we will boss's orders. We're going to boss's orders this one. It doesn't really matter, but this one has an EXP share, so it's better to take this one out. And we're super effective, so we won't need to do anything uh, special there. We're going to put evolution there so it falls off for the next turn. And yeah. All right, we don't have to expend any energy to do, or any cards out of our bin to do this, so we can just do the damage that we need to do. Boom, say goodbye to Vaporeon. That's not a bad draw for us. Now, I expect this is about to hurt, right? This is going to do some damage, but it's not going to kill us unless they have a choice belt as well. Uh, that one wouldn't kill us either. That's good for us. No, co or no energy coming out of the bin, thanks to Spark. Rescue Carrier does get them their... It wasn't the Vaporeon, was it? No, it was the Eevee and the Porygon. Okay. Opponent's in this for the long haul. This was an interesting strategy. I like the idea of trying to use Porygon to, uh, to give a weakness when you're playing with this, like, board of different types. The problem with that is that Porygon's really bad when the opponent can evolve. And we evolved, right? Okay. So let's ditch that and that. I'm gonna go grab another V Star. I don't think we want a professor's research here. I'd rather Arvin just to have a backup plan, get more tools.
That's a good draw. That's a very good draw. Okay. And sure. This has actually been kind of helpful for us, and we don't want to give them this, so let's not. You know what I mean? This doesn't matter, and I... I guess, I guess let's, let's use our cards, right? Let's use our cards fully here. No reason not to. Trying to be sneaky and cute ain't a good idea here. I'm actually going to put this tool jammer on this front row, Tom, just because we're about to give them the town store turn, and this way they can't use any tools they find. Okay, okay, and let's attack here. We do need to ditch one of our cards into the bin, into the lost zone. Boom. Making good time, making good time. Second boss's orders is excellent. Because of this right here. Hello, liability. No! My boss's orders. That's okay, we have so much card draw with this. Honestly, the energy is pretty good to have. Hmm. We're going to put this one up there. I don't want to put the one with the, uh, the XP share up front if we can help it. And we can just retreat this if we need to. Okay, so they're gonna get Entei ready here. I am going to go ahead and Professor's Research now. I want to have more chances to hit that boss's orders that we know is in our deck now. We didn't hit it, but that's okay. Um, we also happen to draw this, so there was a lot of reasons to do that. They have an Entei, we're actually going to hold on to that Choice Belt, that might be useful later. And the TMs, we don't need to put anything else in the bin right now, and the TMs will put themselves in the bin, so... And then let's do this to this other Rotom here. I'm just trying to get to that boss's orders. Hmm, that's a shame. That's alright though, that's alright. You want to hear Donnie? Sure. Is it loud enough? Can you all hear the music okay? Now, if we don't hit the boss's orders, obviously, we could just unload onto this Entei with one of our three Rotoms that's ready with plenty in the bin to work with. You know what I mean? Sounds good? Right, excellent, excellent. This has been a good game. Worth noting, the opponents threw most of their deck as well. They've had a lot of chances, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. But it didn't end up panning out for him. I want that boss's orders. One last chance to draw it. Are you kidding? Ugh, fine. Fine. And then with the Fury of a Thousand Suns, Rotom will destroy Entei. Ta-da! Woo!
GG opponent, GG. All right. Such Angie. The good news is we finished both of our quests there. Woo! Level 10! Level 10! Let's collect our stiff. Credits? A shirt? Another shirt? I have to sneeze again. A Galarian Moltres. A Golden Dark Patch. Some pretty dark energy. Mark a big concern, yeah, no, no joke. All right, and then let's hit this button and collect all these. And what else did we get? Ooh, we got another shiny Espatra. And some credits, all right, we'll take that. Sweet. And then uh, another 500 towards the, uh, the next level, please. More shiny gold cards. I love that they've been putting so many more gold cards in the in the battle pass. Let players get the the pretty cards, right? Like that's that's a good thing. Let them look good. I'm gonna turn off my camera and mute so I can blow my nose real quick. I'll be right back. Boom, we're back. Okay. Honestly, it sucks that we don't have another basic Pokemon, but the Rotom and the energy and a thing to ditch, like, that's pretty solid. And we get to use Arvin first turn to hit another basic. Okay, Roaring Moon's gonna be a little tough for us. That's uh, the ability to one-shot us. Now, luckily, we're also only worth two prize cards, and we actually can get do enough damage for two energy to take it out, like, the rest of the way. So, maybe it won't be as bad as I think. Opponents having a really good first turn, though, except they didn't get any energies in the bin, which is good for us. That means they went through two of their dark patches without having any energies. So, it's solid. Solid for us. Hey, opponent is playing big, big things. Big double prize card things. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. There is one dark energy in the bin for them now. They can't use Asada's Vitality this turn. Um, okay, okay. Hitting that Ralts is an excellent one. Uh, let's put this here. Let's Arvin it up and grab a nest ball and something that we don't care about. We're going to grab uh, de-evolution here because it doesn't matter. Uh, devolution. We're going to use evolution. Um, let me show you how. So we don't actually want to use this Wiglet because Wugtrio has to be played from hand to get the effect out of it. So let's grab another Rotom here. Now, this is where it would normally be kind of an awkward question of, okay, do we put, do we draw cards or do we use evolution? I think we're supposed to use evolution here. The only reason is that they are very far ahead on the board and they only have three cards in hand, but they have this Mew to draw a bunch of cards. So we drawing cards, they can do it too. They can't evolve and we need to get evolved really fast. So that's kind of my reasoning there. And we have a professor's research for next turn, so... That was pretty clean. That was pretty clean. This is kind of what I'm talking about. When we have these really good starts and we can get a bunch of tools into the bin without having to use specific discarding opportunities, it's kind of nice. Okay, now is when we find out if we're dead or not. What's up, Ayanami? How's it going, my friend? Okay. Feeling a little dead. Let's 
see let's see how turbo they are i wish we had had a uh um exp share it's kind of my one my one regret here is that we don't have that yet okay good for us it's very good for us Okay, so we know we're going to do this here. I We have another forest seal stone in case that's what we want to do, and I don't really want to put that down just yet, so let's just go ahead and research here and see what happens. Shame we got the boss's orders now. It's a little too late for it to matter. But the good news is that we can use... Let's see here. Ralt's here. And nest ball for Wiglet. We're, we're trying to cook here. We're trying to cook. Um, hmm. Don't have a... So we, we need to use this refinement ability here. What we ditch is the tough question, right? Boss's orders might be useful. Arvin will probably be useful. And Professor's orders definitely will. So let's ditch the boss's orders. Unfortunately, if we could play it this turn, sure, we would do that. But we can't, so... Okay, and then we will Ultra Ball. Now we're going to ditch the Arvin because we have this Wug Trio to grab the uh, the tools that we want next turn. So let's Arvin those, or let's get those things going. Grab another V-Star Rotom. We're trying to do this so that they are incentivized to use the big powerful move when they can. I could see the argument for us to actually spin this Pokestop, but I don't think we should. Okay. There's the Sato's Vitality to get these powered back up a little bit and draw them some cards. Sixty-six percent chance. Love him. Sorry. The Ultra Ball. It's even an adorable little squabbit. Okay, so they did go for the the knockout here, which is fine. Now we're a little in trouble though because we traded two prize cards for one, and we didn't get what we needed. Um. So we're gonna put the uh, the Wiglet here because we can put the Wug Trio, and if they knock it out, they knock it out. It's fine. That's what it's there for. Let's do this. Want that EXP share. It's a little late for it to matter now, but I still want it. Um, do we want it? We have an Ultra Ball, so yes. Uh, let's see. Let's also grab... This doesn't really matter, so let's just grab two that we know we're not going to use. I'm going to ditch those. 24% chance of BS pretty much, right? Okay, so... Put this energy here. Ball those two away for another Rotom. <coughs> Excuse me. What's up, Otis? This is a uh, a brew for trying to use Rotom with DMs. So far, it's working pretty well. Okay, all the energy we could ever want, as well as so they are they already have three of their uh, their stuff. So let's do that and get rid of those. We should curly a first in case we hit what we were gonna draw, and we can ditch one of our curlias here. Yeah, we can ditch one of the curlias. We have one, and the extra energies are fine. Choice belt is interesting. It doesn't help us, but that's a good one to ditch next turn to the curlias. And like we said, we know we're not going to be playing blindside, so we can drop that there. Town store. Let's go and grab our... Um... Oh, no, it's in our prize cards. That's a shame. I was going to grab the uh, energy or the tool jammer. Cheers, Otis! They don't have any, uh, any views that they're playing, so we can definitely ditch that. You 
know what I probably should have done? Instead of putting the one energy on this Rotom, I should have put it on the Wug Trio and gotten Turbo, because we knew we were going to get Turbo, and use that to power up. It would have been a little cleaner that way, so slight misplay on my part. And because we don't have to just end our turn if we don't want to, we get to draw cards. Okay, okay. We're going to try. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them fast enough. We don't feel like we're super far behind here, though. And them spinning this means that they are also catching up in terms of binning stuff. Um, really don't want to see an Iono right now. Sada's vitality is fine. They have their second Roaring Moon ready to go. Um, but this first one is going to do its thing. And then yeah, that'll take them down to three. And then they'll take one Rotom to get down to two. And we take that. Maybe. I don't, I don't really know who's ahead here. It feels like probably them. Them shuffling a boss's orders back in is terrifying. So that card's going to beat us. I haven't got to play against Roaring Moon a whole lot. For, everybody said this card was going to be omnipresent and do everything that everybody wanted it to be doing. We just haven't got to play with it yet. This is annoying, but this is fine because this one has the prize card on it. Annoying and, and you know, sad and we're probably going to lose. But we tried to mitigate this as best we could. That just didn't end up being enough. Oh, and right, because it just got knocked out, the XP share doesn't work because it's not knocked out by an attack. It's knocked out by the effect of an attack, right? That's the problem with that. Yeah, damage instead of an effect. So, rip. Uh, now we did lose, <laughs> which is a shame. I'm just going to go ahead and concede here. They had what they needed. So, can't win them all. Hi, sheep. And we need to change the sleeves to the pumpkin boo sleeves before I forget. Sorry, I already forgot. That was 29 minutes ago. Fire chips. Pumpkin boo sleeves. Boom. All right, back in. How's everybody doing today, by the way? Hope y'all are having a good one. Oh, and, and for those of y'all that haven't seen it yet, it is officially on the channel, so you can use it now if you would like. You can cook. <laughs> we want to go first yes yes we do this deck is great to go first because one we want to be evolving a bunch of things two Rotom can just draw cards and it gives us more chances to get uh, TMs in the bin so that is the reason for that what's up kid This has felt pretty strong. This has felt a lot better than having those Articunos in here that were just dead weight worth two prize cards. Okay. It's fine. Let's do all this. We're going to be smart here. I think this is actually probably a really good... <laughs> Cheers! This is probably a good pattern to get into, is using the town store first. If we're getting... If we have town store down, is to get the tool jammer. So that they don't get to have their tool. Um, because this only works on things attached to their active Pokemon, so they could have a V on the bench and get a forest seal stone. But it's still pretty solid. Let's put that there. We're going to... Oh, that's tough. I kind of want to keep both of these just in case, but we, we can't. We need to ditch one of them so that we can get the Zero, zero Oro ready to die. So probably that one. Let's draw some cards. Okay. Well, we, we ended up getting something that we could evolve with and energy, so ha 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 ha. Everything's coming up, Wiggles. Okay, see, and now because they have this Raikou V, if they use the, the store to get the Forest Seal Stone, the Tool Jammer doesn't technically stop it. But if they try to get something else and move it up to the front, Tool Jammer does stop it. Ha 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 ha! Oh no, they're cranking one out. Never mind. Ooh, that looked like it hurt opponent. Coming up dry. 
Okay. Organic energy there. I imagine... Okay. I was going to say, I imagine they're going to get the forest seal stone to get a second crank, but I guess not. That's pretty cool. It's wild to get to see this on the first turn. That's that's an investment from the opponent. And the VIP passes. This is actually pretty clever. I like this from the opponent because the electric deck is a deck that already wants to start really fast. And hedging your bets towards that of giving yourself a bunch of things that do a lot on the first turn kind of helps, right? It helps with those explosive starts, especially since we made them go second. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this and grab an uh, EXP share of our own. That there for this Rotom. Evolve that. Put that up. Let's grab Curlia. Charizard got even... How did Charizard get even better? Oh no. Oh, what happened? Okay, pulling out ahead. Nice, nice. They kind of wanted us to, right? So we don't want to pat ourselves on the back too much here. They they wanted us to take that card. They're feeding us another one. I'm curious what's in their hand. Hello, Zenith. How's it going, my friend? Welcome back. Okay, so they've got the Reggie Lucky V Max standard. Their their only thing that's ready to attack is the Raikou, which I guess is what's coming out here. Gonna do some serious damage. Maybe enough because of this. We draw an energy. We should be okay. We have a couple draws for it. Oh, the TM Evolution. That's right. What's up, Era Gaming? TM Evolution does make Charizard better, but the flip side of that, Otis, that TM Evolution makes Charizard a little bit worse because they have to play with Charmeleon for Evolution to matter. And some of them were playing with Charmeleon, but not all of them. So that's really rude, opponent, and unfortunate for us, but here we are. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to refine this Turbo Energize. They're, we're really lucky they actually did that because they could have stonewalled us out of energy here, which would have been way worse. Way worse. All right, let's grab a Nest Ball. I guess we should probably grab a Forest Seal Stone. It's unlikely that we're going to get enough in our hand to want to use the Rotom's move. So let's do it this way. Okay, so this is for a Wiglet. Go ahead and grab another TM. Choice Belt might be useful here because they play with so many Vs, but unfortunately, both of my Rotoms are full now, so we can't use the Choice Belt. So let's just grab... And we, if we could Curlia this turn, we would keep one of these for Curlia, but since we can't, Evolution only matters to that one, so it's whatever, so we can go ahead and ditch it. All right, we have to ditch all of them, but we can take out their, uh, take out their Raikou here. 200 damage on the dot. Solid draws, solid draws. Streams have been pretty good. That stream has been pretty good so far. We're just getting started. We're only going 45 minutes, which I guess when we only stream for two hours, two and a half hours on a weekday is about a third. First third's been solid. Been solid. We do have a way, if they don't knock out this other Rotom here, or this one, we have a way to kind of cheese out some heavy damage that they're not expecting. This is going to hurt, but it's not going to kill us. And we're going to get to kill this thing on the backswing. 
Because Wug Trio. This Wug Trio card is a lot better than I thought it was, y'all. Okay, so first we want to evolve that. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and put this here. Let's play Wug Trio out. Get us some stuff to ditch. We, again, we know we're not going to use that. We can ditch one of each of these. And then we're going to use this Forest Seal Stone here. Make sure we're using Star Alchemy. And we're going to go grab a Professor's Research. Ditch all of these and be able to take this out. In the event that we didn't hit something else, we could have town stored for it, but I didn't want to go too heavy into that. Play this out here, because again, we know we're not going to use that, and that way we can ditch it into the bin. Uh, we don't need another Curlia or anything like that, and our turn is over. Let's do... So it's 80 plus, we need to do two, 230, so we need to do 150. 150 divided by 40 is the closest we can get is 160, which is 4. So we need to ditch 4. Right? Yeah. I think this is enough. Here's hoping. Yay! Math! Woo! Yeah, appreciate you for checking, Air Gaming. Okay, so now they don't have any energies, nothing's ready to go, and we only need one more price card. Probably locked up here. Probably. Now, they can kill our Rotom here with this Battle Claw, but then they lose, so. How hungry am I? Not super hungry. So, no rush. Okay. Okay, so they're going to be using this to do a bunch of damage. Okay. We're going to put in our Wug Trio, because we're going to be escape roping here. I want to hit something that doesn't have this much HP. Okay, so first let's do this. Make sure we've got enough. Okay, there's only one more tool. I don't know if this... Oh, wait, the ro the one Rotom they just knocked out had a tool attached to it, so it is enough. I'll be hitting something else, opponent, but thank you. Oh, they even fed us the one that's, like, easier to kill. And now let's hit them for some unlimited power. Ooh, that sounds tasty, babe. But I'm not super hungry right now, so I'll, I'll probably just eat after stream. But oh, thank you. Goodbye, opponent. GG's, though. GG's. That was kind of the power of the Rotom, right? Like, we, we have so much churn built into our deck that we're trying to get stuff in, but we can use it if we need to. I like this deck. I like this feels stronger. And I know for a fact we're getting more TMs next set. Uh, so I think Rotop's just gonna get better and better, y'all. Oh, GG's. GG's. Yeah, Rotop's just gonna get better and better. Appreciate that, babe. Appreciate ya. This is a fun little brew here, y'all. Fun little brew. I think we need to um, go down on our, like, actual tools. Um, for instance, right now we have EXP, Share Force, Seal Stone, Tool Jammer, and um, Choice Belt. That's too much. <laughs> Desperately licking your foot. Feed me! Feed me! Whenever I see all these numbers in a name, I'm a, I'm a little nervous that it's a bot. We're not going to accuse anybody of being a bot. You got an error game. You have anyone in particular you want us to take a look at them? We can afford a different one. If we, we don't have it, we can buy it because we've got the gold. <laughs> he's like, he's cute. 
Okay, putting the Rotom in. Anything Gudra or purple? Sure. So I'm really bad at the color purple specifically, so I'm going to need your help. <laughs> okay, Roaring Moon. This looks like the very similar to the other one we saw. Kind of a, yep, there's a Squawkabilly. Kind of a case. <laughs> See if we can beat him this time. That's not how Luminion works, my friend. But I appreciate you putting that on your bench. This is, they should have grabbed the Luminion with this. Now, actually they shouldn't have because they have Squawkabilly, right? You see other, kind of the other way around. I really have trouble distinguishing purple from blue. Um, gosh, my eyes are bad. <laughs> No energy in the bin, solid for us. Hopefully it stays that way. Need more cones. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Agent. What's up, my friend? I'm I'm also a big fan. I was a little nervous that that meant nobody was going to show up because I'd be like, who is this weirdo? Because I've definitely done that before and people change their logos. Like, I'm not following. Oh, that's where that person went. Okay, so they're going to ditch. They got rid of the Luminion, but not the Squawkabilly. So this is also still weak to us. So strange choices. Okay, so let's play a Rotom out here. Bit unfortunate that we actually probably shouldn't have done that in case we drew something that we did want to keep. Like that tool jammer would have actually been kind of nice here. Um, bit unfortunate that we didn't have an energy already. Um... I'm actually going to put this uh, this energy on this Rotom so that we can force them to have a boss's orders or something to get to the one that has the investment. Let's play the Wiglet out. I don't want to ditch my Tool Jammer. That's actually pretty good against what they're doing. It brings everything back down to a more manageable HP pool. Let's just ditch that one then. And then I'd like to draw some cards. Woo! Oh, I'm sorry you can't do Glorious. If that was locked by my bits, I'm, I could switch that up. Everyone should be able to use Glorious. <laughs> I like the hair flip agent. <sighs> oh, can we get a shout out for agent, please? I'm gonna... I can do it. I hear typing behind me, so... Yeah! How was Alan Wake? Did you finish it yet, agent? Okay, they... Gave up. I was about to say, they missed on their energies or something. Yay, we win! Never doubted it. Y'all, if you haven't checked out Agent, go do it. Agent is an excellent streamer, an IRL friend. I have, have met Agent in person. Flesh, fleshy friends. Didn't finish it yet? That's fair, that's fair. That's a sign of a good game though, right? Unless you didn't finish it because you quit because you hated it. But I don't think that's the case. Okay, it's been great. All right, all right. I confess I have no idea what that game's about. <gasps> Sailor Scouts! When I watch Agent streams, I watch the small little part of the screen that is the camera, and I stare longingly at that part. Spoopy things, oh no. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. Too much to put in, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Opponent, come back. Come back. Hey. Hey. Okay. They might not be back. We'll see. Y'all, I hope y'all stick around for the second deck today. Because, oh my god, the second deck today is so good. It's bad, but it's so fun. Okay, okay. Zorark deck. Should be manageable. We'll see. Most of their stuff's pretty squishy, so the good news is we won't have to expend all of our tools to get get out like get rid of one thing. The bad news is their deck's probably going to be pretty good at getting under us. 
And if they're playing with the new... Ta- oh, okay, never mind. They saw the Rotom and were like, out. Oh. People are scared of us, chat. They're scared of the power of a technical machine on a technical Pokemon. Terrified. How's everybody's Wednesday going, by the way? Everybody having a good week? I think it's a fun week. Who learned something today? If you learned something today, let me know. I want to learn something. I've learned things too, but I want to know what you learned. You have a good feeling about your deck? Well, shit. Oh, I forgot the box. I'm so sorry. Error gaming. I will get that. that it's been like two games. You know what? We're going to... Uh, I give up. I hate this hand. This is... I'm playing with the wrong deck. Opponent cares about their deck, but... Uh, you learn humanity can be terrible. Well, that's, you know... Yay! <laughs> they certainly can be. But humanity can also be wonderful. Tommy Lee Jones and Men in Black said it best, in my opinion. A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals. All right, so you said you want a Gudra or Purple. Let's look for Gudra first. Oh. <laughs> That's purple. That's purple. That's purple. That's purple. That's purple. That's also got purple. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. A purple. That's blue. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's purple. That's purple. How about that one? Error gaming. Does that one work? Calyrex. Sh Shadow Rider Calyrex. Chilling rain. I'll take that as like a soft maybe. I'm so bad at purple, y'all. Mm. So I penguins live in Antarctica. There's ice. That one's fine. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right, we're all set up. Person is neither a Sailor Scout nor a Splash Bro, nor are they confident in their deck. I just don't know how to make anything. I can't read this person. Hmm. It's a good coin, though. It's a good coin. You got it, sheep. Anyone in particular? Or you just want to take a look at them? Because we can mix it up. And I have enough to afford a new coin. Yeah, I didn't know that, Error Gaming. I learned something today. Everybody else is just special for being able to do that. Dealer's choice. Hmm. Very well. Okay, looks like... Uh, today we're getting some early moons, which is exciting. I want to play against this deck. I want to learn how to beat this deck. A Roaring Moon? Them going first is kind of rough for us, though. Hopefully they don't do the whole, like, here's all of our everythings. Yay, they didn't! All right. Okay, so we're going to get a town store here. We actually need to grab this for a seal stone. Um, I'm going to get a professor's research. And ditch most of my hand. Uh, just do that. Let's put that there. Let's put an energy here. Ultra ball away. Those two things for a Ralts. Star Alchemy. Sweet. How do you see how much money you have in the Pokemon game? There is a, uh, a little box under me, uh, if you're not in full screen, that's got the, like, the plug-in box. I think that's how. I think it should be there somewhere. Okay, this is actually a pretty solid hand here. Let's grab another Rotom. We got another Ralts in hand already. Uh, and let's grab a Wiglet. Get our Wiggle on. 
start ditching some stuff here. Blindside and de-evolution aren't really going to do anything, so we can just ditch all of those and draw some cards. <laughs> I never gave them permission, so probably zero. Yeah, oh, roughly. They can't give you money for free if you don't let them, right? Like the, the Nigerian prince scam, but in the world of Pokemon... This does help them a little bit. They're going to get to uh, have their ancient boosters, which they want. But it's not really the, that big of a deal. They have other ways to get it. So, And that was our professor's research, which is why we are so much further ahead. So worth. We're going to call that one worth. Now, unfortunately, because I had to put that uh, Horus Sealstone on the front row, Tom, I should have put this energy on the back row, Tom. I guess we didn't have it at that point because we got that one from the professor's research. The reason being that I can't tool jammer this. We can, but not this, not with this row, Tom. I mean, we might be able to just... I think we could just one-shot this Roaring Moon, though. So that's something. Uh, so we need to do, how much is it? It's 80, so 290, so 210 divided by 4, 7, right? We need to be able to ditch 7 to get up to 290. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with Arvin. But we can do so much that they knock themselves out on the backswing. So that's something. Okay, so we know we're going to evolve this. Uh, and we know we're going to use Arvin to get an Ultra Ball. And another tool. Doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to ditch the two of these for a Curlia. Now, unfortunately, we have to ditch the boss's orders. Hopefully, that doesn't bite us in the butt. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Hopefully. That's a good draw. That's a very good draw. Oh, and we can't just do enough. Okay, well, say goodbye to your Roaring Moon. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I'd set up to 320, which we have to do all of it, right? Yeah, let's just do all of it. Yeah, boom, goodbye, sweet ancient booster capsule. The power of Rotom. We, uh, we don't have to ditch any for this Greninja because, you know, electric. Na 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 na. Angus Khan's terrifying, but it's not dark, so it can't use dark patches. It's not ancient, so they can't use Sato's Vitality, and it draws cards until such point when it is actually scary. Okay, we're going to give him the Ralts just because we can retreat that one. Unfortunately, we can't one-shot the Kangas Khan. Maybe we get lucky here. Um, hey, look, we did it. We got lucky here. We can, in fact, kill this Kankish Khan. So what we do here is we Ultra Ball these two for a Wug Trio. This deck is so smooth, y'all. This feels so much better. I did not expect this card, the Wug Trio, to be what this deck was missing. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It making him work for his food. Okay, that is all of our tools, though. So, we do need to be a little afraid. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't draw a switch, because then I would feel really stupid. I feel really stupid now. Shame. Evolution's not going to matter anymore, so we can put that one on there to fall off next turn. We actually can't knock it out this turn. 
which is unfortunate, but we could still do... So we're just... And since we're not going to be knocking it out, we're actually only going to do 80 damage to it uh, to save ourselves some, some extra cards. Gotta make him use his brain soul sometimes, right? Okay. That does help them a, a bit, but not too much, luckily. And again, they don't have a way to cheat energy onto this Kangaskhan, and they're going to pull the Wug Trio. Really? The other Rotom? Okay. Luckily, we have that switch now. <laughs> okay. Path to the Peak's fine. We don't need our stuff anymore, so it's whatever. Oh, brave opponent. So brave. Uh, so what, we're going to do 160 total and then need, so we got to ditch two. Okay, that's fine. Ditch two. That's 80, that's 120 plus 60. Yeah, so two. Okay. Now is the tricky part. We're running out of cards to ditch here. But if they knock out either of our Rotoms, we get what's attached to them. So it could be worse. Yay, all right. All right. This deck's really good. <laughs> when I first saw this Rotom card, I did not expect it to be good. It surprised me last time, but it surprises me again. It's a good card, y'all. It's a good card. Not quite there yet. Uh, 145 away from the next level. We can go up to the next level. Going second isn't the end of the world because that means we can utilize our TMs the first turn if we want or we can draw cards. Kind of depends what we get, what our starting hand looks like. Turbo Energize is not a bad one to start with. Um, hmm. But we already have two energies, so I think we're not going to use it. Uh oh. Raikou makes me happy that I didn't play out uh, this Ralts because I bet they play with the escape ropes and they also want us to have a fuller bench. We're going to play the Ralts next turn, so it doesn't matter. They couldn't attack this turn anyways, but at least we don't get escape roped. All right, on. Just the standard. The ditching of boss's orders looks great for us. All right, okay. Standard electric deck. Try to take a look. Try to take a look. So that's G, and that one is F. Oh, well, standard electric deck's gonna be sticking around for a while. Okay. Okay, so they did slot an Iron Hands in here. Make it a little bit different. Probably the best way that Iron Hands is going to get to be played, but doesn't mean it's good. Unfortunately, I don't know if that card's very good. We'll give it another shake, though. We only tried it once.
Cranking out two of them, opponent. That's how you hurt yourself. Okay. I think we might lose this one, y'all. We are very far. Oh, and they hit. Uh oh. Things are looking poor for our hero. Haha! <laughs> and I play a Ralts out. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. That would be a very... Trying to use the Forest Seal Stone to get a boss's orders for the Zapdos was my initial thought, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, I think we're just going to lose this one, but we're going to try our best here. So let's go ahead. We're not going to play that, so we want it to go into the bin. Let's just draw three cards and hope for the best. We get to do... 170. Not enough to knock us out. They could knock us out if they use the Maridon. Okay. Okay. Well, we're probably dead on the backswing. But not yet. Okay, so we're gonna uh, definitely replace that here. We need to grab our EXP share stat. Uh, we need to have that on this other Rotom. Because this one's going to die, and this is our, our way back into the game. Hopefully. Uh, but let's put that there for now, so we can still do an attack. Let's ditch the Forest Seal Stone that we're not going to be using. We're not going to play Devolution, so we can put that one down to, to kind of have it fall off. Really unfortunate that we don't have the ability to just do enough damage here. I don't think we can win this one from this position. Because we don't have a second Rotom V-Star. We'll have the energy for it, but we don't have it. And it's still pretty far from being able to do the damage required. And they have two other Pokemon ready to go on the bench. And their own Forest Seal Stone. The Path to the Peak wouldn't have stopped this. But they also don't need to use any other V-Star moves. So yeah, they're definitely ahead here. Alright. Okay, Flaffy. They don't even have any energies in the bin. So okay, Flaffy it is. Mm, and we're feeding a bravery charms with that brutal brutal yeah and they're gonna take an extra prize card here because they can mm. <laughs> they get to keep their energy nice nice So this is why I shouldn't have used, for future turns, I shouldn't have used the uh, the cards we had in the bin. I should have just let it let it do the 80 damage minimum, because now we don't have them for knocking this one out. And yeah, we're just done. Uh, we'll take a draw at it. We'll take a draw at it here. You never know. Wouldn't you know it. All right. All right. GG, opponent. All right, so let's uh, let's start the giveaway, play the last game with this deck, and we'll move on to the next deck. One second. I usually have this ready. Boom. Exclamation point ticket if you would like a chance to win a pack. And we'll pull it at the end of this. Oh, and the coin. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice on the coin. Well, that's me. 
And let's get, mm, let's save our, let's save our coins here. Save our gold. What screams TMs and Rotoms? Use Derpichu. I'm gonna use Derpichu in a bit. Uh, but. Nothing's grabbing me, chat. Nothing's grabbing me. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use Diglett. Diglett it is. Diglett won't let us down. Diglett never lets us down. So I uh, I had an interview the other day, and I did it was a, a, a virtual interview, and I used my my this setup for it. So you know, professional lighting and camera and microphone and all that, no green screen. And nobody asked me about it in the interview, and after it was over, it's like, oh, well, now they probably think I do OnlyFans. If you ask about it, I could be like, oh, and by the way, the, oh, 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 I'm a Twitch streamer. Oh, 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 oh. But if you don't ask, it's because they're like, hmm, mm hmm. Ooh, Rebombi. I didn't see that one. Okay, so let's throw Rotom out here. Oh, good. They're weak to electric. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I did tell that guy I do OnlyFans. I don't. I don't actually do OnlyFans chat. But, um, he thinks I do. Trust me, people would pay to not see that. Hmm. I want to buy you clothes to put on. That's how we're going to throw money at this one. Okay, since we have Wug Trio in hand, we're going to go ahead and grab the, uh, the, the Wiglet here. I think we should boss's orders the Frigibax to the front because they don't want it to be at the front. Now, obviously, if they evolve this into Backscalibur, play a skate park, and power it up with the energy, we're just we're just screwed. But that's our best chance to not get eaten next turn, and we don't want to get eaten, so let's try not to. Or possibly for an only fence, take my money. Uh, probably not. My producer would have issues with that. Yeah, beard content. Ooh, only beards. But see, I don't actually take care of my beard, which is always awkward to say to people when they're like trying to grow a beard and they're like, how do you do that? What what products do you use? And it's head and shoulders. That's it, because that's what I use on my hair. <laughs> Ta-da! And a beard trimmer. Okay, so the escape rope is is not good. Um What do we care about having more? We care about the curlia more than the wiglet, or more than the wug trio here. Genetics, yeah, what do you use on your beard? Genetics. Okay, switch please, switch please, that's not a switch. All right, maybe we'll get the switch this way. Um, well, the good news is that we actually do get to still do the Wug Trio thing here. And that'll give us stuff to feed Curlia. It could be worse. Tool Jammer's not gonna do anything for us here. The Vs are already weak to uh, that, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's just grab the ones that yeah, let's see we're actually de-evolution might wreck them pretty bad if they try to rare candy for the uh, back scalibers so let's grab a second one of those actually we already have one let's just grab a turbo energize here uh okay now we're gonna ditch the choice belt first because we know we're not gonna use that another rotom's great another rotom's great arvin's also great here um okay so we're gonna arvin because Arvin is that switch that we wanted so very, very much. Right? There's just switches, right? Okay, there. Oh, I should have grabbed a tool. That was a wasted spot. Wiggles, you just messed up, son. That's all right. That's all right. Turbo energy, evolution. We do that. Go grab Rotom V-Star. Okay. Still making plays, still doing stuff. Oh, 
Oh, we can't do enough damage because I messed up. Well, I don't know if we would have actually had a way to get it in the bin. So let's just go ahead and... Again, this Rotom might die. Uh, there's a good chance. But we're not going to risk by doing too much damage here. So let's just do the one. Uh, and save our cards in the bin. Ah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll spice it up and do two. Do 120. Boom. Hello, I see. Is your money moist? <laughs> Dripping money. Hmm. This deck is about using Rotom V-Star and putting a bunch of TMs and other tools in the bin to use Rotom to put them from the bin into Lost Zone and destroy the opponent. It's been working really well so far, I see. And hello, I see. We got a new emote. I see. Look, look. Wait, where is it? 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 There. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay. All right. They did the thing. It's like we expected they would. Yeah. How you been, my friend? Okay. This is all still kind of part of our plan. Ish. Ish. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I am sorry you're tired. So, it's time to say goodbye to uh, Wug Trio. That's a really good draw, though. That's a really good draw. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and use the Professor's Research here. Solid, solid, solid. Let's play another Wiglet, just because we have the other Wug Trio in hand. Might as well. Let's do this. We're doing this so that we can thin our deck so we're more likely to draw one of our other Rotom V-Stars here. Let's grab another De-Evolution in case they have another Rare Candy for this Backscalibur here. Or, <laughs> yeah, it is Backscalibur. Okay, and then we are going to De-Evolve them. Goodbye, Backscalibur. You can have that back in your hand, but you need another Rare Candy now. Nah, 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 nah. Now, again, they probably do. They just need an Arida or a Rare Candy or a Luminion, and they have a lot of ways to do that. So I would expect that they have it, but we're going to make them have it. And we're just risking Wug Trio. And we're going to risk this other Wug Trio to do the exact same thing, too, because if they knock this one out, which they will, unless they play a Boss's Orders or something, uh, then we can put this Wiglet up front, do Wug Trio, de-evolve it again. The cycle shall continue. Now, the reason that Wugtrio is actually pretty solid here is because it does take both of Chine Pao's energies to do this. It can't just do one for one. So they are, without the Backscalibur, they're starting to be down cards to do this. Okay, there's Luminion, which means Arida, which means Rare Candy. Bummer. We kind of knew that was going to happen, though. Um, I don't know if we can win from this position. We got really unfortunate that we couldn't take out the Chine Pao that first turn. I don't think any other build would have been helpful enough there. Ooh, spicy from the opponent. Now, that sucks for us, because I was kind of counting on that. No, it's not super necessary, but, but the goal was that we put one energy on this one, it dies, we put it on the Rotom for EXP share. Put one energy on the other one, it dies, we put it on the Rotom for EXP share. We just have to, you know, try and do it as best we can. Okay. They didn't actually have another Backscalibur, though. So that's interesting. They chose to get the Riz instead of... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to grab Turbo Energize, Blindside. I guess we, we're not going to use Blindside, so we can definitely grab two of those. Uh, let's ditch one to Curly and see what we hit. Proton V-Star, that's perfect. That is exactly what we wanted here. Let's get some cards into the bin here. We haven't taken any prize cards, though, and we're kind of running out of stuff that we can do here. So, that's not good. All 
I'm going to put one on Curlia. This already has the EXP share, so it's going to get this energy. And this way, if they pull the Curlia to the front like they have done other things, we can put one energy and retreat it. Because we don't have an Arvin or Escape Rope or anything like that in sight. Their hand has a lot of energy in it. But they don't have another Backscalibur yet, so the energy's kind of staying there for now. I imagine it's coming down this turn? The rare candy? Comes. I like the opponent's build. I like the uh, the Risen there. That, that's, that's neat technology. Nothing, nothing, nothing too new, nothing too special, you know what I mean? Kind of what we've come to expect. To be completely honest, the de the devolution, I keep calling this, I keep saying this wrong. It's not devolution, it's devolution. Devolution is in this deck. This is fine. Like, this is a decent use for it to try and make them, like, in certain situations, make them have it. The reason this card is in the deck is for Charizard. Because if you can get a Pidgeot and a Charizard off, like, back into their hand and no rare candies left, and no Pidgeot to get it, and even if they use Arceus or whatever to get that, that's a big downside for them. Like, that's a lot of loss. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's time. Let's get to it. We're not going to play out any other basics because of Palkia, uh, so we can get rid of this. Uh, we're not going to play out any other basics. Draws two balls. Classic. Okay, we're not going to de-evolve anymore, so we could, I should have put Evolution down since I only have the one thing. Would have been smarter that way. Um, hmm. Let's see here. What is this? 60 plus 20. The difference in 20 damage, if they had... Oh, it's 160. 180. 200. 200's close enough that... Ah, now nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's be aggressive. Plus, we have an energy to play anyways. And now we can play that there. Yay! All right. Uh, so we just need to do one. Okay. Devolution. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Devolution. Now I want to play Overwatch. And now I'm sad. See, they have Palkia, and Palkia could put energies down, like it can grab them back. But Palkia is the only thing they have that's going to do any damage, and it's weak to us. So we got that going for us, which is pretty solid. Oh no, another Chine Pow. Now that being said, if they retreat this Palkia... Okay. Ultra Ball for a Bibarel? Maybe? Maybe. A switch and a Palkia. Okay. So the switch will get them the Chine Pow, which will get them two more energies, plus they haven't used this. I think we lose. Because Chine Pow does a lot of damage with enough energies, and they have this power. I think we lose. Never play Overwatch on stream you'd watch? That's fair. We might do that. I, uh, main support. I'm pretty good at it, but I main support. So we didn't have a window to use Devolution again. This is because we went second, by the way. If we had gone first, this game would have been... This is coming down to one turn, right? Like, 
ish. Uh, if we had gone first, we might have been able to do this. Kind of a rough situation. Yeah, GG opponent. They didn't even do unlimited power. Rude. Rude. I've been planning on doing a like a community ice cube point challenge thing where everybody puts their community channel point things in uh, for variety. Would y'all rather do? Hmm. You can do an Overwatch variety, maybe, maybe. All right, let's uh, do the wrap up and pull the pull the giveaway here. This deck felt really good. It's still not quite there yet. It needs a little bit of work. Um, it's weird to say, but this deck kind of needs some Path of the Peak. Uh, there were a few times when having that would have been really, really, really beneficial to us. And we don't really use the Rotom V-Star move. And we only use this, this draw move at the very beginning, right? It's rare that we're going to do this. And that's kind of what I was thinking, I see, was doing one of those on stream. Um, let's see, the TMs are great. Uh, again, I think we want to go down a little bit on the other tools and we do still need a little bit of help getting stuff into the bin sometimes, right? But I think that was just a luck thing. We've got three Ultra Balls, three Professor's Researches, and three Curlias. That's a lot of ways to get stuff in the bin. Um, but yeah, it's a fun deck. Good deck. We're going to try that one again for sure.